In this video, we will talk about adenomyosis, it causes the painful uterus. We will talk everything you need to know about adenomyosis. What is adenomyosis? In this condition, there are islands of endometrial tissue embedded deep within the myometrium. What is the normal anatomy of uterus? Normally, the endometrium is a separate layer of uterus, adjacent to myometrium layer. There is no exchange of cells between these two layers. Population at risk of adenomyosis it occurs in women of reproductive age. Most commonly, it is found in such women when they are multiparous, meaning, having born more than one child. Mechanism of adenomyosis. The endometrial tissue of adenomyosis responds to cyclic hormonal changes of the body. Therefore, just like endometrial lining of uterus, this endometrial tissue of adenomyosis also has cyclic hormonal changes. That is, bleeding and inflammation. Therefore, bleeding of adenomyosis also occurs inside the myometrium. Clinical signs, due to bleeding inside the myometrium, adenomyosis shows following signs, severe dysmenorrhea, pain during menses, heavy menstrual bleeding, enlarged uterus. Diagnosis Most definitive diagnosis of adenomyosis is by histopathological examination of uterine sample under microscope, but it can only be obtained by hysterectomy. Other methods of diagnosis are ultrasound, MRI, investigation of choice, number one, ultrasound examination. It shows adenomyosis if it is localized. It can show blood-filled, hemorrhagic, distended endometrial glands in the myometrium, irregular and nodular appearance of uterus. Number two, MRI investigation. It is the investigation of choice. It provides excellent identification of myometrium and endometrium separately. It shows adenomyosis within myometrium as separate ectopic endometrium islands. There are two types of treatment options, medical treatment, temporary, surgical treatment, permanent, medical treatment. It is only a temporary treatment. It provides symptomatic relief only since endometrial tissue of adenomyosis responds to estrogen. So any treatment that induces amenorrhea, pseudomenopause, will provide relief. But, once the drugs are stopped, disease will occur again. Following drugs can induce temporary menopause, progestins, gonadotropin releasing hormone agonists. Number 2. Surgical treatment, hysterectomy, surgical removal of uterus, is the definitive treatment. 